Yeah, yeah, this come up, it been really major. My team eating like we sitting at the dinner table. I done got a couple calls from a couple labels. Now it's all eyes on me like they was watching cable. Uh, I had to come up, I really couldn't stay down. Still ten toes with my boys from the playground. Uh, I see these haters, they really want me way down. If they not talking bread, please get up out my way now. Look, I never changed, I only had to move different. I'm like a title contender, moves made with precision. I went from losing to winning, I wanted all no percentage. I'm never fake, no pretending. You want to you can get it hold up my word play is on a different level i'm getting hot popping off guess i'm in the kettle a rock star so you know i fast life leave my foot up on the gas pedal a young don i'm feeling like i'm nino got the money and the power with no casino i'm running up the bands and i'm only seeing Cenos. i'm a star ain't got bucks yeah i feel like a pacino uh look 2020 i'm really taking over i need a big body bands and a chauffeur got a v8 in the engine and i'm about to blow the motor you know i run the game you could call me a controller huh yeah it's my year like baby head in 2019 i'm like an outcast i'm feeling like i'm fresh and i'm clean big bands in my jeans got me ripping the scene got designer louis v yeah you know it's supreme balenciaga stepping oh that's a to all my haters steady watching me and my possessions it's my time i'm done with all the waiting i've been patient now i'm cooking up this beat without an apron okay i done upgraded from basic now i'm bringing home the bacon yes i want the top spot well i'ma go ahead and take it moving in like it was vacant they sleeping i've been awake and you hear me on every station i'm blowing up yeah that's major my life is really like a movie i'm talking lights camera action with a whole bunch of living great designer down with a whole bunch of gucci now i got y'all at attention like y'all playing call of duty look it's a special occasion 25 years breathing hey look mama we made it now the family living lavish show me life is amazing and yet we did a full turn like we drive a mercedes i'm gone with grant hill and clark kellogg i'm brian anderson ali laforce is our reporter So the Bucks win the tip. Here's Hanna de Kumpo. And what's interesting about tonight's game, Clark, both of these teams know how to get stops. Yeah, they're both outstanding defensively, and they do it with great team defense. We know in this league, you're not going to shut. individually it's a team concept everybody helping one another out and uh, not only do they do a good job with the team defense individually they have some solid defenders as well he almost blocked that shot in time just a man a second late here's holiday down low Here's Ana de Kumpo. Hits the layup after the sweet pump fake to freeze the D. I tell you what, he clearly is one of the best players in the league who does not get the same kind of gas that other guys do. But there's no better all around guard in the NBA than Drew Holiday. Here's Harris. It's good. Off the assist from Harden. Just taking it right to the rim, and no one was there to greet him. Well, it's early. They should be showing a lot more energy on defense. It's not there. Giannis onto the court. And he recovers it. Yep, that one's good. You know, gifted with what seems to be a limitless reach, the Greek freak Chris can Middleton. get to offensive rebounds that most others only think about getting to. basketball played here in this one Portis with the steal that was clearly a forced pass there was no room for him to make back to Holiday the three ball buries it from three Holiday. with deep range and a wide arsenal of moves Holiday keeps defenders off balance outside Harden here's Harris and a nice finish on the layup. And defensively, you have to make them work harder than this, or it's going to be a long night. 
You really don't want to allow him to get too comfortable, but even with stifling defense, he's going to still find a way to get it in the basket. Drew Holiday. And the basket by Holiday. Well, that assertive, confident attitude. I mean, Holiday knew as the pass was coming his way, he was going to catch it and let it go quickly. Look at the power of that. He has to be one of the top dunkers in the game today. Absolutely salivates when he attacks the rim. Pass to Anadokounmpo. Oh, stolen by Harris. Oh, and he blocks it off the glass. Wow. After five shots, that's their first miss. I definitely Giannis call that a good start. From role player to MVP, Giannis is improving his upper body strength has really been a factor in his overall development. The former MVP, Giannis Antetokounmpo. Clark, you figure he'll be in that conversation for a while. Yeah, staggering numbers from him. I wouldn't be surprised to see him win a few more MVPs, quite honestly, B.A. All-world talent that you just can't ignore. It's hard to take your eyes off of him when he's on the court. Middleton. Middleton. Count it. One for one to start the game. Boy, I like the finesse and the focus that Middleton plays with. I mean, that's part of what allows him to finish off these tough hoops. The B.A., when he gets the rim in his sights, it's tough to stop. So aggressive and a determined finisher. Nice. And, guys, I like the fact that he chose the one-hand tomahawk slam because you get a little higher when you go off one hand and one foot. Just five to shoot. Here's out of the Kumpo. A fantastic defender. Embiid is consistent not only blocking shots, but going after him as well, especially when he's in the area. And the Bucks making a change here. And it's Harden penetrating. And he hits it to tie the game. Embiid's got six points. Man, that's now ten straight points in the paint. I'm not sure what's happened to their defense. Man. I think they've really got to start committing more bodies down low and really kind of close that area off defensively. And out of bounds, the 76ers will take it. Seems like this offense is being executed the way it was desired. Yeah, I'm sure Coach couldn't be happier with the results. The assist from James You know, as a distributor and dime dropper, Harden has really got a nice eye for how to get teammates shots. And does a really good job setting up a shooter. Holiday drives in. And Holiday powers it home. And one move ahead of the defense. A solid pick. And then the monster dunk to complete the play. Well done. Boy, picture perfect teamwork that time, guys. One guy sacrificing for the other. That's how you succeed in this league. And <laughs> they keep trading punches. Both teams in a groove early. Hey, guys, this is going to be fun now. I mean, we've got ourselves a shootout on tap here. Man, I can't believe he blew that gimme, guys. Well, I know he's frustrated about that. On the wing, Green. Shot clock at six. Harden. Good D by Anadokounmpo. Portis outside. Back to Holiday. And there is a whistle. Tobias that goes Harris. on Tobias Harris. That's his first foul. Here's Middleton. Over Green. I like how Green utilizes his length at the defensive end. He's not uber quick, but his length compensates for that. To the inside. Here's Reed. Hits the layup after the sweet pump fake to freeze the D. Setting each other up beautifully. I love it. Eight of their last ten points coming off assists. You know, nothing makes a coach happier than selflessness on the basketball court. Here's Harden. The Bucks getting their last shot to go. Pass to Maxi. Fires for three. 
He's in his comfort zone. Two for two to start this one. And that's what they want to do. Get him open looks early. He's certainly been cold this quarter, guys, but trying to shoot his way back into a groove. Shoot from the baseline. Hard misses. The Bucks trail. Outside Holiday. Pass to Allen. Kicks it out to Middleton. Oh, a clear foul there on the missed shot. So he'll get a pair at the line. And Chris Middleton, a great three-point shooter. But he's got a deadly mid-range game as well, Grant. Middleton is just flat out a shooter. Can pull up from anywhere on the floor. If you give him the mid-range, he'll take it and punish you. Both free throws good from Middleton. And on many other teams, Chris Middleton would be the star, Clark. But he plays the Robin role pretty well. Hey, I tell you what, VA, there is nothing wrong with being 1A on the marquee when you're playing next to Giannis. He's overshadowed by the media because of Giannis, but his game makes a lot of noise all over the NBA. Here's Kumpo. Oh, nice D from Millsap. Milton attacking. Here's Jordan. Count the bucket. Coming off a perfectly placed pass. And the 76ers lead by five. And yep, it's good. Credit their discipline. They've been working for high percentage shots. Inside. Jordan. The shot misses. Oh, great D that time from Portis. Pass to Anadokounmpo. Back to Allen. Now Middleton. Back to Allen. Launches it. Up again. Chris Middleton. Controls the rebound and the putback. Middleton's got six points. Oh, I tell you what, Middleton getting his hands dirty inside on the glass. We know he can shoot it from outside, but inside points are bonus. <laughs> I tell you, a little extra pressure on D when you're up against a point guard who can elevate. <laughs> it doesn't make it easy, does it? And you know, guys, showing how dynamic a weapon he is for this offense, they feed off of that energy and ability to make plays. It gets them going. And slam dunk by Jordan. Boy, at the rim, Jordan Steele, after all this time in the league, has the athleticism to get up and throw it down. He's just an aggressive finisher there inside. Hey, when you got bounce like that, you feel like you can take on anybody. Fellas, that's exactly why they look to get him the ball around the rim. I mean, it's either a dunk or free throws every time. And so it's Milwaukee with it. The Sixers getting their last shot to go. Forty-three seconds left it's in the first quarter of the game. Tipped. Can't ignore Millsap's defensive instincts. Excellent timing, rising up the block shot. Wesley Matthew. No good on the free throw. And he sinks the second. Milwaukee with the ball. Six-point game. And it's on to Kumpo off the drive. Ooh, it's stolen by Jordan. Milton for three. Here's Millsap. Outside Tybal. And it's blocked by Ibaka. Just three to shoot. Here's Milton. And even after two offensive rebounds, they just can't take the lid off. Oh, it would have counted had it fallen but it is offline no hope you've enjoyed the broadcast so far halfway through the first half in this one all right guys what's your take on the sixer so far you can really see the strategy coming in 
get the ball into the painted area. Yeah, and it's worked. They've got a clear edge and points in the paint. Now we'll see if they go with a more balanced attack or just football. keep on pounding it inside. And let's swing it over to the sideline and hear from Allie. This Bucks team is arguably the most talented in franchise history. At the same time, the East has gotten tougher. So the Bucks are looking Shane to Milton. improvise. Giannis said, quote, we're getting better, trying new things, changing our schemes. That's something we think is going to help us. Brian? Using the regular season to experiment, Allie. Interesting. Thank you. And it's out of bounds. Last touch by Millsap. Anadokounmpo outside. Six to shoot. Who poked away. Here's Milton. Rejected by Anadokounmpo. Well, you know, he's almost the perfect defensive player. He's got length and strength, and he's athletic. And Giannis plays the game hard all the time, too, which is impressive. Here's Milton. The Bucks getting their last shot to go. Takes a three. The rebound by Matthews. So it's Milwaukee now. They haven't allowed any points in the second quarter. And another great assist. The offense is really clicking now. You know, the defense has really been kept off balance because of the outstanding passes. Four straight field goals have been made off an assist. Now here's Ana de Kumpo. 12 points for him. The D hasn't been quick enough to react to the ball inside. That's helped cause this run. Pass to Matthews. Millsap with it. Guarded by Ana de Kumpo. Dybal on the wing. Boy, he's been patient so far. Nothing yet on the scoreboard. Outside Milton. Back to Thibel. Four on the clock. Now here's Milton. Stolen by Carter. That's tipped. Ooh, it's stolen by Jordan. And the officials signal the backcourt violation. Not careful there. And, and in the last two possessions, they've painted a picture of what not to do. Just way too loose with the basketball. Here's Nora. Jordan Pure Nora. from three-point range. And the Bucks lead by five. Their ball movement on this run has been tremendous. It's led to a lot of good, clean, open looks. Here's Ana Decumpo. And Ante Decumpo with the stuff. Few better than Giannis completing the play. Incredible strength plus excellent agility. All right, well, a look at how the points have been generated so far. A scoring breakdown for the Bucs. Guys, their penetration has been outstanding. I mean, it's actually been great. They're really finding those holes in the defense. Hey, I'm stating the obvious here, but he was very comfortable taking that shot. Not a defender in sight. Now here's Ana de Kumpo. 17 points in the game. Five to shoot. The Bucks need to get up a shot here. Matthews. Wesley Matthews. And the Bucks hit again from deep. No panic in Wesley Matthews there. I mean, the clock is running down, takes his time, and makes sure he gets a quality shot. Back to Milton. To the middle. Out to Millsap. Fires from deep. Connects from downtown. Millsap got six points. As a Rookie of the Year award winner yourself, Grant, what do you see as the biggest challenge facing today's rookie? I honestly think with all the information and expectations, the hardest thing for young players today is meeting those expectations because of all the great rookies who've come before and gone on and had success right away. That pressure a lot of times can be a lot for a young player entering the league. Here's Korkmaz. Pass to Thibault. The shake. 
second chance shot. They get it back. And another shot. He missed it. Now three for seven. Boy, he has to put that one away. A solid opportunity. Gone awry. Here's Matthews. Pass to Anadokounmpo. Clock at six. Here's Nora. This one for three. Oh, he missed it. Making him one for two now. Here's Embiid. And he drives in. Ooh, went in there strong and tried to power it down. But he drew the contact and he'll head to the line. They pin that one on Giannis Anadokounmpo. We talk about Embiid's surge in production, but it doesn't end there. He said, I want to push my teammates to be better and lead by example. And many great players eventually realize that we is greater than me. Yeah, Embiid's main point to this team is play the right way because that's what you can control. He is intelligent, vocal, and selfless. And there's a defensive three-second call. And the technical free throw is good. You know, if we didn't quite grasp Antetokounmpo's potential coming into the league, it didn't take long to see that he is really a generational talent. He's blown us all away with his athleticism and skill set. And I would add to that his work ethic, too. You can tell he's really worked on his body and his game. Well, you look at Hart. He doesn't beat you with great speed or by playing above the rim. He wins with pace, angles, and strength. As unique a score as we've seen in probably the last 30, 35 years in the NBA. Now here's Anadokounmpo. 20 points for him. Matthews misses. Pass to Embiid. Now here's Harris. Right side, Harden. And then Harden with the jam. Ferociousness from Harden. Looking like he wants to tear the rim off. And Clark Harden is also an expert at using his body as a shield for the ball. I think it's really a good lesson out there for young players coming up, B.A. Use what you have. Don't try to be somebody else. Use what you have. Don't make excuses. And then get busy putting the work in. Back to Harden. Pass to Harris. Oh, the block shot. Grabs it out of the air. To the paint. Here's Ibaka. And he banks in the layup. Now it's a six-point Milwaukee lead. And they've really been more consistent from the field this quarter. Adding to their lead. And you see that field goal percentage for the game steadily heading north. Now here's Anadokounmpo. Goes up on the wing. Again! Milwaukee! You know, he started slow, but now in the second quarter, he's finding his groove. The three, here's Harris. Yes, and a nice assist from Harden. Harris has got nine. Boy, this is something that Harris has really enhanced in his game over time. Hard work, paying dividends. Ibaka, he's open. Shot is good. Off the back rim and in. Ibaka's gotten four this quarter. I didn't see that coming. He sinks a pretty dicey shot. It's one thing to prevent the layup. It's another to do it without fouling. Just terrific defense. Shot's good by Anadokounmpo. Giannis continues to expand his offensive arsenal. And with that, his confidence and ability can actually take over more. Now here's Green. Now quiet so far offensively, searching for his first point of the game. Pass to Harris. Here's Harden. He's checked by Carter. Rejected by Anadokounmpo. And the shot clock expires. 24-second violation. And here are the Bucks now. They're on an 11-3 run. One forty-four left in the first half. 
lets the three fly. Unable to get that one. So Philadelphia will take it the other way. Here's Embiid. And the shot is good. Harris making the play. He's got 10. Few players in the NBA strike fear into opponents, but Embiid is one of them because of his size, skill, and crazy strength. The Sixers trailing. Pass to Maxi. And Harris throws it down. I tell you what, fellas, like seeing Harris be engaged from there. I mean, refusing to settle for the simple layup. Nice finish. Holiday from long range. Again gets it to go. He can't miss. Five for five. He's a go-to guy for them because he's that consistent. Time and time again, he delivers. Here's Embiid. Oh, and he got fouled on his way up. He'll head to the line to shoot two. You know, many people refer to Embiid as the best big in the league right now, largely because there isn't a hole in his game. I mean, he does a lot of everything, and as big as he is, his agility and shooting touch is off the charts. Now here's Holiday. He's got 13. Pass to Anadokounmpo. Clock at four. The shot by Holiday, no good. Here we go, the Sixers on the break. Here's Embiid. And a foul called on the way up. So he'll take two from the free throw line. They'll pin that on Chris Middleton. It's almost unbelievable how fluid Embiid is at his size. And his aggressiveness to boot, I mean, that really forces defenses to compromise a bit when they defend him. Outside Holiday. And he makes it on the layup. Holiday. Holiday's got five points now in the quarter. Going off himself tonight. Holiday won't do this every night. But if his team needs his scoring, he can provide it. And we've got third quarter basketball here. Two quarters in the books. And here are the Sixers now. Pass to Harden. Uncovered. That one a tad offline, but it drops in for him. Harden's got 11 points. Harden's so versatile offensively. He initiates. He can play off the ball. He can beat you in transition. He's going to get his points. You can bet on that. And it's Maxi missing. Middleton, left side. Tries it from 16. Doesn't go for him. So Philadelphia will take it the other way. On the attack, Green. Out to Harris. Outside Harden. Six on the shot clock. Late clock. The Sixers need to put one up here. Here's Maxi. It's hauled in by Portis. Boy, he's got to be disappointed in the result there. I mean, the defender really didn't make any impact at all. Middleton outside. Shoots over Maxi, And he gets it to go, hitting off the back of the rim. Give him eight points now. Oh, I like the fact that Middleton takes advantage of the mid-range jump shot. When he gets room to pull the trigger from there, He's taking it, and he's almost automatic. And there it is for him. The defense couldn't collapse quickly enough. Middleton outside. Two minutes into the second half of play now. That shot is off. Green with the defensive effort. You know, even though they have the lead, you can tell he's frustrated with himself that he's not doing more. Here's Middleton. 
uses the glass on the layup. Middleton's got 10 points. And the quickness of Middleton on the drive is really remarkable. I mean, he gets to the bucket so fast. And there's the foul. It's on Joel Embiid. That's his first foul. And great job to establish position and square up. Excellent example of toughness and physicality on defense. Got his nose right in the middle of things and made a play. Now here's Middleton. He's got 10. Pulls up on the wing. No good. So Philadelphia will take it the other way. Three-pointer and bead. Good. That's his fifth bucket in nine attempts. That's good vision from Harris. I mean, he draws so much attention himself, so he's become a capable passer. Middleton outside. Oh, Harris with the block. Pass to Green. Here's Maxi. Embiid. Yeah. Tip back in for two. Embiid's got five points now in the quarter. Embiid right there to get the rebound and put it right back up. Excellent anticipation. Outside Holiday. Out to Portis. Three pointer. And the jam by Ana de Kumpo. And when the game is this close, you have to go all out. He certainly understands his role, huh? When the shot goes up, it just crashes the offensive glass. You know, that time I thought he did it with authority. Tremendous putback at a time when they really need it. All right, let's check in with Allie LaForce. Thanks, Brian. Giannis Antetokounmpo talked to me about signing the extension to remain in Milwaukee. He said, my goal stays the same. Get better day by day, step by step. As long as that's what we're all focused on, why not play for the Bucks 25 years? There is no reason for me to move. Well, he certainly found a home, Allie. Good stuff there. Drew Holiday. Holiday. He gets it. He's seven for eight and really going at him out there. So many different ways that Holiday can beat you because he's got great length and size for a guard, and that allows him not to be afraid to mix it up inside. Played it in with a nice touch off the window. Embiid's got 20. Tell you what, I don't know if any center in the league can score in as many ways as Embiid. Maybe Jokic, but those two are pretty much in a class by themselves. Embiid showing us everything tonight. And then Harden with the jam. The assist. Making sure of it with the two-hand slam, B.A. Yeah, I don't blame him. With the score this tight, you cannot take a chance here. I get the feeling, guys, that he may be sensing that this is a critical time in this game. Now here's Portis. Holiday has the open look. And Joel Embiid pulls it down. Total breakdown from the defense there. I mean, he'll usually take advantage when that's the case. Exactly. The defense determined not to allow the easy layup right there. They'll settle for making him earn the free throw. Harden hits them both. He's as solid as it gets from the line. I mean, give him the opportunity. He's cashing in on those. And here's Holiday. 17 points in the game. To the inside. Boy, that's finishing the defense there. He made a good effort on that possession defensively and then closed it out with the rebound. And for much of his career, Jordan has been surrounded by unbelievable talent, Clark. Well, you think about it, B.A., Paul and Griffin in L.A., Durant, Irving, and Harden in Brooklyn. I don't know how you get much better than those five. <laughs> Pass to Korkmaz. It's good. Off the assist time out, time from Harden. And the 76ers lead by four. 
and force feeding the ball inside. I mean, no reason to go away from what's working. And when you make five in a row in close like that, it also takes pressure off your perimeter guys, too. And the Bucks with some changes. Down low. Here's Ana de Kumpo. Nice dish, and the layup goes down. You know, inside Giannis's length really helps him get by the defense. Not much they can do to trip him up or slow him down. He's a force. Now here's Milton. Just five on the clock. Back to Millsap. And a slam dunk by Millsap. You know, when he's got the position he wants inside, he's committed to throwing it down. And Millsap, he's got a nice vertical on him, too. Here's Ana de Kumpo. He's got 26. And they double up Ana de Kumpo. Pass to Nora. And here's Carter. Fires the three. And they recover it. Over to the left wing. Matthews misses. Man, that's his shot. <laughs> Maybe he was too wide open. Here's Korkmaz. Here's Thibault. On an Akupo with the block. And Antetokounmpo with the stuff. And Antetokounmpo showing his versatility yet again. His dribble moves are virtually unguardable. Pass to Thibault. He'll sap inside. Korkmaz on the wing. On the wing, Milton. To the middle. And it's good with time running down on the shot clock. Millsap's got four points now in the quarter. Pass to Matthews. Carter with it. Anadokounmpo, left side. Anadokounmpo is doubled. Here's Nora. The putback. It's good on the putback. And the activity of the Greek freak around the bucket. I mean, this guy just does not quit. Relentless. Really knows how to finish with authority after the misses come his way. Wow. Here's Thibault. He hits the layup after the sweet pump fake to freeze the D. Always a good possession when you can get that kind of look on and the foul on Serge Ibaka. That's his first foul. The Sixers leading. Pass to Korkmaz. Outside Tybal. Inside. Here's Millsap. On an Akumpo with the block. Oh, and a fast break for the Bucks. Rebound by the 76ers. To the middle. Can't get it to fall. And they can run out the clock here. No need to rush it. Yeah, don't give them another possession here. Giannis, and Kumpo. they pick up two. Adenakumpo has got 32 points in the game. Mills has the open look. That concludes the third quarter. It continues to be an exciting neck-and-neck -neck game. Sixers ahead, leading by just two. Three tense quarters behind us. One more to go. Thanks for being with us as we get ready for the fourth. The Bucks trail. Holiday with the ball. Milton covering. Allen with it. Back to Holiday. And there's the drive. No! They're unable to get the tying basket there. Outside Tybalt. Back to Milton. Pass to Jordan. That shot off. Now the Bucks take it the other way. Middleton outside. 
to tie it up. And it's all tied up. Chris Middleton. That's just what we call man up strength from Middleton. I mean, taking the hit and then kind of effortlessly knocking down the shot as well. Here's Millsap. And so he draws the foul, headed to the line to shoot a pair. Paul Millsap. And he can't get the first one. The Bucks making a switch here. And the second free throw is good. Not an A-plus trip to the line, but he did get them the lead. On the wing, Holiday. To take the lead. Pass to Ibaka. Oh, plenty of contact on that shot. Officials call the foul, and he'll take two free throws now. They'll pin that one on DeAndre Jordan. And a closer look here at the scoring breakdown for the 76ers. The fantastic passing we saw from them in the first half carried right over into the second half, too. Well, he's certainly been on target with the free throws. Such an advantage when your bigs can knock him down from the line. Milwaukee in the lead. Pass to Allen. Now here's Holiday. Back to Middleton. Clock at six. And again, it's the Bucks missing. Fantastic ball movement for them tonight. If things are definitely working offensively. A balanced attack is just so much harder to defend. Pass to Jordan. And Chris Middleton, Chris Middleton gets the whistle that time. That's his third foul so far. Here's Korkmaz. Here's Reed. On the Kunto covering. Neither team able to build the lead and sustain it. After six lead changes, it feels like it could come down to one big play. Outside Holiday. Just under two and a half minutes gone by now in the final quarter. And they'll get another chance. Middleton outside. Shot clock at five. Here's Ibaka. And it's Philadelphia with the rebound. Here's Jordan. And the foul on the shot. So he'll take two from the free throw line. And that'll be a foul on Milwaukee. You know, Jordan, to me, is one of the more reliable bigs in the league. He takes a lot of punishment and rarely takes a night off. Here's Milwaukee. They've played a great fourth quarter defensively, allowing only three points. Timeout called. Milwaukee. All right, let's get a report from Ali. I was able to listen in on what Mike Budenholzer was going over with his team. This is anyone's game. So he told them, stay aggressive, stay hungry. We can't afford to let up on the energy out there. He's hoping they'll finish with a flurry. Guys? Allie, thank you. And the layup is good. And the 76ers lead by three. That's been typical of their performance today. They're sharing the ball and creating good shots. Really a prime example of the difference in how these teams have operated offensively. Much more individual play at the other end. Pass to Korkmaz. Jordan inside. Nora grabs the board. And here is Hanada Kumpo. Back to Carter. Misses the baby hook. Here's Thibel. Back to Milton. Off target at the rim. I've been in this position. Your team is up. You want to drive in the dagger. He may be a little overeager. And the 76ers get it back. Great positioning on the putback. Great job of crashing the offensive glass. He stayed with it. That's hard-nosed, tough basketball. Matthews. Wesley Matthews. Good. 
And Adetokounmpo gets the assist. Remarkable poise from Wesley Matthews. Looks like he's very comfortable shooting as soon as that ball hits his hand. Oh, nice one-handed jam there, B.A. Hey, little exclamation point. Hey, they've got a nice, comfortable lead here, fellas. Might as well keep it simple. Do it a plain, simple one-hander, just like pound cake. Pass to Milton. Back to Thibel. Here's Reed. Banked it in off the glass. And now it's a 7-point 76ers lead. And why go away from attacking inside if the D has no answer for you? And Antetokounmpo is just a blur. I mean, I don't know how a 7-foot guy with that wingspan and all legs and arms can be a blur, but man, he's like a lightning bolt when he gets room to roll to the basket. And slam dunk by Jordan. Did you guys see that? What an insane slam. Man, you got to have some hang time to pull that off. Yeah, to glide in and reverse it home like that, so sweet. Boy, just cannot buy a bucket, guys. I tell you what, that's a painful quarter for him, and it's painful for me to watch, too. And Antetokounmpo with the stuff. Matthews has a nice feel, guys, for when a teammate has a clean look, gets him the ball. And Philadelphia calls time here. And the Bucks making a change here. The Sixers leading. Now Harden. He bucket with a steal. Here's Carter. Lays it up and banks it in. Harder. And you want him taking good shots at this point in the game. And that one was easy. Well, you don't want to give him any open shots at this stage. Never mind the layup. Come on now. My goodness. Embiid with it. Guarded by Anadokounmpo. Embiid misses. Milwaukee with the ball. Nora, no good. And the defense got away with one there. I mean, that's a shot he typically makes. And here's the fast break. And the call will be against James Harden. That's his first foul of the game. Here's Anadokounmpo. And the jam by Anadokounmpo. Giannis powering his way on the jam there. Well done. Down low. Here's Harris. Rejected by Anadokounmpo. To the paint. Pass to Matthews. Anadokounmpo outside. Now here's Ibaka. The bank shot. No good. Intercepted. And they're pushing it up. And Antetokounmpo with the stuff. Well, I tell you, the future of the Greek freak is extremely bright. I mean, he really has shown the ability to deliver in important spots of game. The drive by Harden. Pass to Green. And here's Embiid. Here's Harris. Down to five on the shot clock. Out of bounds. It'll go to the Bucks. Here's Milwaukee. They've outscored them 10 to 2 during this run. On to Kumpo inside. And it's going to be a goaltending call here, so they will count the bucket. Well, at least the D was going for it, but he got to the ball just a moment late. The Sixers trailing. Now here's Harden. Anna Kumpo with the block. And that's out of bounds. Philadelphia will retain possession. On defense, the Bucks. The drive by Harden. Out to Harris. Hits a three-pointer. That's a big-time bucket from Harris. I mean, so cool, confident, and composed in these big moments. He's made for him. 
Antetokounmpo outside to the inside Middleton another shot kicks it out to Antetokounmpo into the lane here's Portis Antetokounmpo outside five on the clock goes up again and it's blocked by Embiid and they'll keep possession and there's the shot clock violation couldn't get the shot off in time a minute 22 left to play in the fourth pass to green down low and it goes out of bounds that one off Allen he clipped the ball there but not enough to nab the steal Clearly a careless pass. He got away with one there. Inside. Here's Green. He's off on that one. The Bucks go the other way with it. Out of bounds. It'll be Philadelphia's ball. Just horrible timing for this team. That mistake could spell disaster. Allen brings a double team. And out of bounds. Milwaukee will have it. Middleton outside. And here's Allen. Pass to Holiday. Shot clock at six. Oh, it falls! Boy, it's just a fantastic effort they're getting from Drew Holiday right now. Here's Harden. Driving in. The rebound by the Bucks. Their biggest lead of the game was nine. To the middle. Counting. Look out now. Baca is caught by it. And right here, they can't waste any time. No, you need a quick bucket and then a quick pop. About three seconds between the shot clock and the game clock. So it's Milwaukee now. Three-pointer is up. Middleton. And it's Harris with the rebound. Harden the open look and misses it off the right side of the rim. Anadokounmpo outside. So it's a narrow victory for the Bucks, pulling it out for the W. This was a hard-fought, well-earned victory for them. They had to dig deep to come out on top. Yeah, you know.